you do the right thing? Sure, sure. He'll get more for his time than he gets here. Sure, he'll get more money. Tell me, who's still around that I know? <laughs> Not many around now. Them that didn't get married are all gone. <laughs> Tommy Brogan. He was one of your pals. Yeah. He's still here. <laughs> and look, Casey. Look? Say, did he get married? That would be the day when Luke gets married. He's hanging around with you on a yank with the dollars. There's nothing in marriage for Luke but the money. He'll find her one day, and they'll spend the rest of their lives rubbing long bagel lotion on each other's backs. <laughs> John Toey, you remember him? No, no, he, he wasn't one of the old gang. He married Katie, Katie O'Hara. How is Kitty? Ah, she's not good these days. She's going to have a baby and things aren't going too good. Did she, did she keep coming in after I'd gone? Katie never missed a day without coming in to see me. You know, I meant to come home. Sure as God I did before this. It was to be, Eddie. There's no good regretting things that are finished and done with. Sure. You went to a good country and, sure. and you got a good wife. Twas to be, Eddie. Sure, sure. As you say, twas to be. I'd like to see you, though, before I go back. Oh, well, now we can't go over now for a few days. But we'll go over one evening after the baby's born. She got a good husband, Eddie. John Toey's a good, steady man. Kitty. Kitty deserved the best. The best. Here's no fun for a mad bush. What's the matter? There's a cow's coming. I'll come from a blanket. I'll come down and give you a hand. Take the cow's blanket from down behind the dresser. Kitty, I bet that you go down and bring Julie up. She's getting a bit excited down there and on her way. Right, OK. <laughs> nature every day of the year. Well, I don't like it. You don't have to like it. You can see the nice bits about farm life in the movies. Here's the wine now, Julia. Eddie, you can get whiskey over there if you want some. He, he doesn't drink whiskey, Mary Kate. Simmer down. This is a vacation. Here's a glass, Eddie. I'll knock this back and go and see how the new arrival is doing. Y you'll see they treat her properly, Ed, won't you? Sure, honey. I'll pick a bunch of roses for her on the way and bring them in. <laughs> oh, Mary Kate, I never want to witness anything like that again. Uh, I, I don't think I, I like farms. No, I, I don't. They're all right, Julia, for them 
and the Jews to them. I don't know how Ed can take it all so easily. Oh, Mary Kate, I wonder if I could have a little more wine, please. I still feel faint. Well, I'll get the bottle, June. <laughs> Cows, pigs, bulls. <laughs> oh, Ed's just gonna have to see about that automobile. Very good. Oh, hi, Lee. Come in. Hello, Julia. Hello. You remember Eileen? She came over to see us for a while last night. Of course, sure, Eileen. But my nerves are in such a state at the moment, I wouldn't recognize my own husband. If I wanted to. What's happened, Julia? She went into the buyer. The cows cafe. <laughs> it was awful. Mary Kate, I'm going into the town. Is there anything I can get you? No, thank you, Eileen. Uh, Eileen, maybe I'd come with you. I think an hour or two of civilization just might settle my nerves. Well, that's a fine black ball. God bless him and the cow. <laughs> now tell me that I know nothing but how to handle a cow and calf. Uh, you were better than I thought. He actually helped. <laughs> oh, Eileen, the girl who stole my heart away. We'll make a farmer out of you yet, Ed. Make one. I am one. Ed, don't stand near me. You smell. <laughs> it smells like a farmer, Julia. Curly, come out and show me the calf. You do just that. I think I'll go too. I might as well peep at it. Honey, you stay right here. There's only room for two people on an Irish barn. Hey! <laughs> Don't give me that out there now. Time we could start it in the field. There's up the whiskey bottle I see there. Yeah, let's have a drink to the new arrival. Um, Ed, what, what are we going to call it? A very simple name, honey. Nothing elaborate. Just calf. <laughs> Mum. Oh, no whiskey for me, Eddie. I'll have a drop of the wine with Julia. Oh, uh, no, thank you, Mary Kate. I, I don't think I could have any more. It's um, it's too strong. Ah, you're the sensible girl. Some of them nowadays are here as even drinking whiskey. <laughs> Well, what do you know? Castle Bar at? Five. Six. Girlfriend said she'd fix supper for us. Oh, who's that? Come off it, Curly. Eileen. Oh. You know, you're a damn fool, Curly. What for? What do you expect to find in America? Go on, tell me. What do you expect to find? I expect to be able to please myself in what I do and don't do. All right. What's so wonderful about that? What price do you intend to pay for that privilege? My fare. You promised that to me. I'll pay you back as soon as I start earning. Oh, forget it. I didn't mean that. You're my brother, and if you want help, I've got to help you. As long as you know you're doing the right thing. Don't you start. Look, boy, life's not everything you may think it is in the far side of the world. The knocks don't come any easier just because you can run away from them. I'm not running away from anything. God, I should be the last one to tell you this. But, Curly, you've got a duty to our mother and father. 
and have a right to something myself. What do you do when you have to decide between the two? Oh, I guess you just run away. But don't run so damn fast you don't know when to come back. You ran yourself. Sure, I ran. But I hope you find more at the end of it than I found and come back to more than I came back to. Why don't we go down to the alley for a crack at a ball? Oh, there's no alley there now. It all fell down. Jesus, there isn't anything around here anymore that I know it hasn't either fallen down or blown away. <laughs> there's less every year. Oh, here comes the rain now. That will finish the haymaking for today. <laughs> What's with you and Eileen? There's nothing. Ah, don't give me that. There's nothing. I see the glint in your eyes every time she comes in that door. She's a, a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> that will please me, Father. <laughs> Are you courting, Corley? It's no one's business. I'm not putting anyone. Okay, keep your shirt on. I'm just asking. Did you ever talk to the old fella about the place? The place? By the time I get the place, I'll be getting a pension. Look, he's that kind of a guy. With Tom Mario to demand a thing, and then if he refuses to give it, you go right ahead and take it. It's as simple as that. It's easy for you to talk. That's not just talk, boy. Sure, America's a great place, and a guy can get on. He can make money, and he can spend it. Well, that's what I want. Sure, if that's what you want, go right ahead. I got $300 here. We'll get your ticket next time we're in town. Let me ask you one straight question. Have you ever thought you might be doing the wrong thing? Sometimes, sometimes. But then when himself starts up, I know I'm doing the right thing. That's no good, boy. You've got to have a plan. It just can't be living from year to year. That way you've got the skids on you all the time. There must be someone, something you want to work for. I want to work for myself. Then you'll get no thanks. Well, what was your plan when you went? I had a plan when I went first. No man worked as hard or saved as much as I did. But then one day, one day the plan wasn't there anymore. It gets very lonely on the other side of the world, Curly. Especially when the things you long for are behind you. I'm not afraid of that. Some guys fit in, Curly. They just become part of the bricks and the concrete and the railway lines and the streetcars. They never smell the gasoline fumes or the stink from the chimneys. The other guys, Curly, are country boys. And if they have a plan, or if they lose it, then they just work because they have to eat or drink. And that's no living for any man unless he's chasing ulcers. You've done all right for yourself. Sure, look at me. I'm a big operator. Hundreds of guys get off that boat. Big operators, just like me. But a lot of them, Curly, are country boys. And if they are, Better off to stay where they are, looking for something that's no longer there. A few years will do me. Go for good or don't go at all. Make your home where it's got to be. The way I see it, your home's here. Look, what good is this to me? Me father grumbling and grouse at me. The neighbor saying, you're daft to be going. Ten years time and the place will be yours. No, I know what I want to do. And you're going to do it? Even if it breaks your heart. Do you think that if you do, you'll come back to the same place you left behind? It'll be here. Oh, sure, it'll be here. But that's about all that'll be here. The same house. In a different field. In a different country. In a different world. And you'll go look at all other things. Let me tell you, boy. When you go back and see that New York skyline, you'll be so sorry you'll laugh. Because you're really back home then. That's daft talk. <laughs> you don't know what daft talk is, boy, till you're talking to yourself. You leave your father and mother to hell with them, is that it? No. Look, boy, I can't come back and look after them. And both of them are too proud to go down their knees and ask you to stay. Or thinking too much of you in case that if they did, they'd be doing the wrong thing. Or too sad to let you see the tears in their eyes 
There's no tears in his eyes. Maybe there are. Maybe there are in places where no one sees him. If there was, he behaved like a reasonable man. He probably says the same things about you. Did he ask you to stop me? No, he's too much of a man for that. But your mother did. Look, I've stayed around here working as hard as any man. Any man. I've worked with him when there isn't one other fella in the country could stand him. And I've had to ask him for every shilling I needed. And he never gave it to me without telling me how hard money was to come by these days. And I've worked 12 or 16 hours of a shift above in the fields or in the ball. And at the end of it, if I wanted to go out for an hour for the crack, I'd have to sneak through the door. That's a carousing you heard him on about. And when I'm about 35 years of age, or maybe 40, and he's sitting there by the fire, poking the ashes with a stick to pass the time. He'll tell me it's time he started casting around for a wife. Not getting married, mind you, just casting around. <laughs> I want my life done like you's all had, like you's all have. Sure, sure, like we all have it. Okay, okay, that settles it. And he's the one that'll tell me who I should bring in. And how much you'll bring water? Okay, 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 let it be. Well, what's your answer to that? Oh, I don't have any, even to the questions I ask myself. Oh, I guess you'd just run away. Hey, will you come and bring down that break, you bro? <laughs> you couldn't keep that fella on rakes. He'd break every tool you have about the place. You'd never break a goddamn rake yourself? Ah, what's up with you? There's a drink you have on you. No, but it's not a bad idea. Look, Pop, I want to talk. What about? Right now, I don't know what I want to say is going to get said. But you've got to stop Corley from going. Oh, I'll not look to hand. He doesn't know what he's leaving. Damn well he know. Years ago, years ago, I stood in the old house over there. And I said the same things to myself that Corley said to me. And I said them to myself because there was no one else. Hey, you couldn't stop him when he starts. Hold it, Pop. You don't understand. <laughs> that guy's me. Every word. Every frown. There's only one thing missing. One other reason for his going. And if that reason was there, so help me, I'd cut his legs off of the knees to stop him. Cut them off at the hips and he would still go. <laughs> you don't understand. Do you want a drop? I, I'll have a glass. It's never easy to talk to you about some things. Look, I'm a reasonable man, Eddie. If he would only come to me in the right way. A quick question. But uh, maybe it's my mother I should ask this. Has he got a gear? <laughs> I'm damn sure all the carousing at the night time isn't with the boils. <laughs> Skip the carousing. What's the setup between him and this Eileen Tierney? <laughs> Eileen Tierney? She's just a neighbour's daughter. They go gallivanting to the dances on a Sunday night. Fine, if that's all. Curly isn't me then. You know something? He's probably not even a country boy. Another drop. No, yeah, no, it's not good stuff to be taken when there's work in front of you. What rambling was in them for Castle Barry the day anyway? Uh, Julia wanted to run. And herself was just as mad to be at. Everyone uh, deserves a break, Pop. Uh, Julia, she isn't used to the country. No. Oh, you have to be bred on it to understand the ways. Yeah. Ah, it's like the country, man. It's never easy in the city. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't be easy here yourself now, Eddie. It's all right for a holiday, but... Uh, Mm-hmm, that's right. Ah, uh, sure, you're a sippy man now with the clean clothes and the smart shoes. Yeah, you can always tell the city man. Well, what sort of a job will you get for Curly? Plenty of jobs. We'll, we'll figure out something when he gets here. Well, he'll have to mind his manners when he's living in a city house uh, and not be throwing his shoes at the end of the kitchen. Shut up, Pop. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, leave the drink alone, will you? Will they never stop? Yeah, it might. It's turned out bad for the hay, too. Yeah, I shall not do it about harm for a while. 
A scurly coat and pop. You asked me that before, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what he's doing. Turned out even worse bad for the funeral, too. Ah, will not be money. Don't be money there now when his children are buried. I should have gone. Ah, you wouldn't be expected to. I'll have to go over sometime. John Toey was asking for you this morning. He says you'll come over for an evening when Kitty's improved. She's getting better. Ah, the doctor says she'll be up in a day or two. Good. You're, you're happy yourself, Eddie, I think. Sure, sure. Hi, Julia seems a good woman. Uh, when you get used to her. <laughs> yeah, when you get used to her. Ah, there's plenty goes, sends back to the one they left behind. Do you know, that have been better off picking with the love. Yeah. Here's Curly. Here's the rake water. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll fix that one, for I'll buy no more. He's a fine looking fella. Curly. Oh, he's a good stump of a man, surely. You had a good set in yourself in your day, too, eh? Yeah, in my day. Hey, don't be bringing that down here. Well, I'm not going to stand out in the rain, that's not. All right, then. Here, let me fix the rake, boy. I think there's some wire up in the shade, does it? I'll go up and get it. Aye. Bring the hammer in with you as well. It's going to clear up. Aye, but there's some queer clouds about yet. Oh, who's that? Come in. Oh, oh Eileen. The rain's done some good if it's driven you in here. Isn't it fierce? Give me your coat. I won't be stopping. Didn't say what time you'll be back from Castle Barrett. Yeah, and my wife's bought the damn joint. <laughs> <laughs> when Mary Kate comes back, will you tell her to go over to Toys? Something wrong? Kitty? She's had a bad turn. The search for the doctor. I'm going back again now. She keeps asking for Mary Kate. Stay white. You'll be drenched. I can't. There's nobody there with her. All right, I'll send her over when she comes. I'll be over this evening. Okay. That rain's too heavy to last. You reckon? You reckon it might have out over the toys? You can't go over now. I get a bit scared sometimes. I'd like to see her just once before I go back. Don't be silly. What would Julia say? Oh, I couldn't get one damn less. That's fine. Carry on. Did you ever think of your mother dying? Go on, did you? Did you? No. Well, I did. I used to pray once. I used to pray that God let me be with my mother when she died. And I knew he never would. That's not right for you, Eddie. Mm. Nothing's ever been right for me. And right now, I don't know in what direction the right things for me lie. I always thought they were here, but I realize they're not here now. And I wish to hell I'd found that out ten years ago. You're half boozed. Sure, I'm half boozed. I've always only ever been half of anything. But you, you're not even half of anything. But someday, maybe, when you're shoveling heavy cement of a dirty rail truck and ten degrees of frost, or up to your eyes and muck twenty feet under the clean sidewalks of Park Avenue, You'll wipe more than just dust and sweat out of your eyes. And when that day comes, Carly, maybe, maybe you'll... Is this the stuff you want? Yeah, that'll finish it off good. You made a great job of all the other things, Eddie. When this is finished, you can stick it in every hole in the field that won't break. No use just driving nails into them. What are the farms like in America? Oh, lots of farms. White ranches. They specialize there. No small places like here. Oh, yeah, lots. Down south. Worse conditions. There couldn't be much worse. There, how's that? Well, there's many a hay making in front of that rake. What about a drink? I don't mind if I do. There's half a case of stout here, yeah? No, no. Get the whiskey. I'll get some fresh glasses in here. <laughs> My father's gone over to Toys to give John a hand with the monkey. You hear anything? No. But my mother said if Katie was all right, she'd be up early. Here. Good luck. Um, 
Isn't it time I was going out to see about my ticket? Yeah, we better pay the balance and collect it. I need a good suitcase too. I think I'll want to careful bar tomorrow and buy a decent one. You want the money now? Well, there's no great hurry. But it's as well to get it off her mind. Okay, yeah, I'll sign it. The manager in there knows me, you can catch it here. Let's see now. Three hundred dollars, reckon that's about hundred pounds. There's seventy of that to go to the shipping agent, Curly. The rest yours. You need some clothes, don't lose it. I won't forget you for doing this for me, Eddie. Ah, I wish it could be more, boy. I won't be long paying you back. Forget it, you're my brother and you want help, I gotta help you. There's still time though to change your mind. No! Okay. I'll collect my ticket on the way to Castle Bar tomorrow. Another? Hi. Right. Where's Julia? Oh, somewhere around. I think she'll be glad to be on her way. Yes, yeah, somehow I'll be glad myself. You enjoyed yourself, Eddie? Yeah, but it's gone. Maybe I expected too much. You know, when I got off that taxi that brought us here, I thought that there in the door would be my mother, dressed in the same apron she had on the day I left, instead of an old woman. But I'd see my father striding down from the fields with his hair as black as it used to be. Oh, I don't know. You forget to count the years, I guess. Come on, break off. Jesus, we'll be scattered, you know. <laughs> Can you think of anything better to do? Are you going over to Toys tonight? Yes, yeah, the last chance I have. John would feel bad if anything was to happen to Kitty. What does Eileen say about you going? <laughs> I understand you told the old fellow you want to get married. What did he say? Didn't stop talking for a week. And then you wrote to me. There's no other way, Eddie. I'll come back. Hi, Curly. Oh, thank goodness with only one more full day after this. I can't wait to hear the roar of traffic again. Tis quiet here, Julia. So damn quiet, Curly, I can't sleep at nights. We should have fitted a pneumatic drill under your bed. <laughs> Then you could sleep all day. No need for a pneumatic drill, Buster. The sound of your adenoids giving their death rattle all night's enough for anyone. See, who's in the liquor? Oh, we're just having a little soft, Julia. Ed, I don't want you introducing Curly to the pleasures of life. Okay, honey, we know when to stop. Seems like I heard that somewhere before. Say, where are the old folk? Over at Toys. Oh, gosh. I feel so sorry for that girl, Katie, losing her kid. Ed, I've just remembered something. You haven't taken me to a wake anywhere in Ireland. <laughs> oh, the things you told me about wakes. Even the wakes aren't what they used to be. Oh, I believe everyone has a great time. Plenty to eat, plenty to drink, and some harmless petting with the girls down the fields. Cut it out. Well, what's wrong? I'm only asking Curly. Well, don't ask him. Shut up! here tomorrow night. We get a few fiddle players and a couple of bars of beer and really let ourselves go. Yeah, why not? How about it, Curly? No reason at all, except himself. Ah, oh, to blazes with him. Go right ahead for once in your life. Well, I could get a couple of fiddlers, all right. 
and there'll be no trouble with the booze. Well, what more do we need? A room to lock me father in. <laughs> Honey, I'll even show you how to do the Lancers. Oh, yes, Sam. Let's end the vacation with a 